Just trying to get your money is certainly nothing new. We all get so many of those annoying phone calls each and every day. Well, it's no surprise that the scams are getting more sophisticated, all thanks to technology. And St. Pete police tell our Fox 13's Ariel Placencia that they are seeing cases where suspects are now getting Uber and Lyft drivers involved. It's harder for us to trace. St. Pete detective Carla Ramos works in the economic crimes unit. So she's familiar with the so-called grandchild scams, where an unknown caller tells someone, like this Newport Ritchie grandma a few weeks ago, that their loved one is in trouble and needs money. It took 7200 to to get him out of jail. We're talking thousands of dollars. Sometimes the victim is asked to get the amount in cash and put it in a box or envelope so somebody can come and pick it up. But the suspects are getting smart. That's right, because it's not the scammer showing up at the victim's door. It's an Uber or Lyft driver the scammer sent, Ramos says. Uber and Lyft aren't just rideshare companies. They also have package delivery services that launched a few years ago. Let's just pick up this package. They don't have to ask questions. The person, the victim, whoever doesn't have to ask questions or anything. And more often than not, once the first driver gets the money from the victim. Now take it to you're going to meet another driver at a public location, let's say a public park, and that driver is going to go meet someone else. In most cases, the drivers don't even know they're part of a scam. You have individuals who are like, what? What did I, what? What? I just did what? What? <laughs> So no one knows and it's just harder for us to continue an investigation. Uber and Lyft both acknowledge they are aware of these scams. In a statement, a Lyft spokesperson said, we actively assist law enforcement with their investigations in cases like these. And Uber said, if a driver believes they are transporting a suspicious package, we encourage them to cancel the trip and take the package to law enforcement. In some instances, these cases end when the scammer tells the last victim to deposit the cash and send the money electronically. But if the money ends up overseas... Our resources are just end right there once it passes our borders because we can't really do anything once it's sent that way. In St. Pete, Ariel Placencia, Fox 13 News.